everyone, just want to do a quick tutorial on how to do the portal jump from a couple weeks ago. So to start this move, we're going to start with the hoop at 6 o'clock. First step is we want to be able to look through the hoop like you're looking through a window, so part of your body is kind of port flip halfway through. The second piece of this is we want to think about um, isolating the hoop from 6 to 3 o'clock. And one of the, the terms that we talked about is what is called isolation, which we'll get to in more detail in another class. But just to kind of give you an idea, an isolation basically has a center point that's the axis point the hoop rotates around. It's an imaginary point that's in the center of the hoop. So if I'm going in, starting at 6, coming into my hoop halfway, then from 6, isolating to 3 o'clock, the next piece of this, the goal is, the objective is to come out of the hoop, actually step out of the hoop. So in order, order to do that, we need to drop the hoop down all the way and then step out. Now I'm right hand dominant on this one. Of course you can do this on both sides, but starting with my right hand, I'm gonna peek through, isolate from six to three, drop the hoop straight down in vertical position. So the hoop is not tilted back like this. It's actually a common mistake. So again, six, peek through, isolate to three, drop straight down. And now the space that is biggest for me to step through would be the left side. So right hand, my left leg comes through first, and then my right leg follows, okay? To bring the hoop back into position, so if I'm creating a circuit with this, I wanna bring the hoop from here. So my hand's on the top, I'm gonna shift it slightly into the hoop and over, okay? So the handwork again, my hand ends like this on the top, and then I'm gonna shift my grip. So I'm not gonna have such a strong grip here. I'm gonna loosen up, shift, and then bring it forward in front of me. And then I can repeat this move all over again. So coming from, from here, peeking through, six to three, isolate, drop, left foot, right foot, bring it back in front. And you can do this drill as you walk, as you step forward. That's a good reminder that the goal is to actually step through the hoop like this, okay? And the next piece, once you get comfortable with that and doing that on both sides, you wanna be able to speed it up in a hand rotation. So now the axis point is the hand, right? So we're rotating forward. And we want to start thinking about stopping the hoop at the 9 o'clock mark. So if you look at the hoop again as a clock, it would be 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So 6, 12, 3, and 9. So if I'm rotating the hoop in a forward hand position, so this, all this is done forward, I want to think about stopping my hoop at about 9 o'clock. So 9 o'clock, grip into my hoop, come into 6, isolate to 3, and drop. Okay, so again, it looks like this rotation around the hand, stopping my hoop at about nine o'clock point, bring my shoulder and elbow through the hoop as I come in. So nine o'clock stop, six o'clock, three o'clock, step out. Okay, so one more time, looks like this, and here we go. That's adding a little bit of a jump to it. All right, keep practicing. I hope that helps. Thank you.